Fear Street was a three-part horror mystery trilogy that was released the summer of 2021. I watched these when they first came out, and I remember thinking, this is actually pretty good. Now, don't get me wrong, there were flaws, but I was drawn in by the lore of these movies. Written by Arl Stein, this story is full of spook and ominence. Repetitive and slow at times, yes, Nonetheless, it keeps you entertained. Also, spoilers ahead, so be warned. Now, without wasting any more time, here's Fear Street Part 1. The first time I watched this movie, I remember thinking, this is oddly similar to Stranger Things Season 3. And I couldn't really put my finger on why I felt that way, but after re-watching it for this video, I see why. There are multiple factors that go into making this movie feel like Stranger Things. The colors, the locations, and the horror aspects are very similar to Stranger Things. I mean, Look at this. These are all side-by-side -side comparisons of Fear Street Part 1 and Stranger Things. Mall, hospital, grocery store, school, even the visual effects look similar. But looky here, they both have the same visual effects artist and casting director and actors and cinematographer. There are so many Stranger Things connections and I'm not complaining. I love Stranger Things, just thought I'd point this out and just in case anyone else was feeling the same way. A very small percentage of you guys that watch my videos are actually subscribed. So if you enjoy this video, consider subscribing. It helps the channel out a ton, and it lets me know you want to see more videos like this one in the future. The movie opens up with Maya Hawk working another mall job. She gets got by her buddy who is possessed by who we learn is Sarah Fear, a witch from 1666, and becomes her newest victim. We learn that a string of these murders happen all the time in Shadyside. After a vigil held for Maya Hawk's character, one of the characters gets marked by the witch by dripping blood on her grave. This puts a hit on her for all the other serial killers from the past. The rest of this movie is basically trying to figure out how to stop these killers, but to their surprise, they can't. Not without Sam dying first. So they devise a plan to make Sam OD on drugs then try and bring her back to life. This fails and then works after she is drowned. The killers disappear and they live happily ever after. Psych! The main character is stabbed and that is how it ends. In a nutshell, that is the movie. I have a list of things I liked and disliked about this movie. What I liked is, I liked the Stranger Things influence. It was spooky, the cinematography was beautiful, the, the, these images look so good, and it made me excited for the next movie. Some things I disliked were, I just wasn't a fan of the main character. I, I, I didn't feel like there was any reason, any real reason, for me to root for her. I, I found myself caring more for the supporting cast than the lead, and that seems backwards to how it should be. The comedy feels forced at times, and there were really odd editing choices like these. No, I just have to run out really quickly and kill that pervert. Another thing that bothered me was the characters had almost zero development. The characters didn't grow as people, they merely survived the night. But there was no lesson to be learned for our protagonists in this film. I hope this changes in the second movie. In a second, I'm going to give my final thoughts on this movie. But before I do, if you are enjoying this video, please consider subscribing to this channel. By subscribing and liking this video, it lets me know that you want to see more videos like this. Thank you. Overall, this movie was fun. It was entertaining. It kept me on the edge of my seat and made me excited for the second movie. I think the thing that kept my interest peaked was the lore behind this town. I think that is the golden egg of this movie. The lore. On a scale from 1 to 10, I think I give this movie a 7. Although the visuals were absolutely stunning, the character development was lacking. I would have liked to see more attention given to the relationships of the characters. But I'm excited for the next one, so I guess they did their job. Thanks for sticking around to the end of this video. If you made it here, comment shady side to let me know you made it to the end of this video. Like this video and subscribe and check out another video like this one. Bye bye.